Hi guys, I am so excited to be filming this video. This is my first ever q and I have loved interacting with you guys on the, on, in the comment section and I've been looking at your Instagrams and just like putting a face and personality behind the names that I see online and in the comments and stuff like that. So I really like being interacting with you and hopefully we can do another video like this again soon. So yeah, just keep watching if you want to know a little bit more about me and to find out if you are the winner of my misguided giveaway. I think I'm just going to do the questions in order of time. I'm just going to do the questions in chronological order because that's the way I have them screenshotted so this doesn't hint at who has won or anything like that. I'm going to be announcing that at the end of the video. So the first question that was asked by someone called Leash. I'm really sorry if I can't pronounce these names or nicknames or anything. It can be confusing. They were asking, what's the shadiest thing someone has ever done to you? And I was thinking about this and I was like, I don't think anyone's ever done anything that shady to me. I luckily have nice people in my life. But then I was like, my ex-boyfriend, the reason we broke up, he cheated on me and lied about it after we'd been together for a year and a half. And that's pretty f***ing shady if you ask me. I'm over it now. But if you'd like more information about that or dealing with breakups or anything like that, I'd be happy to go more in depth in another video. Just let me know. But yeah. I think that's the shadiest thing anyone's ever done to me. The next one was someone called Shanisha from South Africa, which is so cool that she is watching my videos in England. And she left the cutest essay question message thing. And I was like, it's so nice. And she says, sorry for the long essay. I was like, no, it's such a lovely comment. But in it, she asked, what is your favorite clothing brand or makeup brand? I think you guys are probably going to get sick of me saying this, but my favourite clothing brand is Misguided, hence why I'm giving it away, and it is in like all of my hauls, it makes up the majority of my wardrobe, and it's basically where I get every single piece of my clothing from. This top is from Misguided. <laughs> but yeah, I love Misguided, and um, if you're working there, reach out to me. <laughs> no. I'm not at that level. I'm not anywhere near the level where brands want to be working with me. This is just a hobby, not my career. My favourite makeup brand, she also asked. If it was like eyeshadow, I'd have to say Morphe. But for anything else, I use just all like drugstore makeup, just a variety of like Rimmel, Maybelline, L'Oreal kind of thing. I don't think I have a favourite brand for anything other than eyeshadow, and that would be Morphe. And she also asked... If there could be one thing you can't live without, what would it be? Did you hear my stomach just then? So aside from like friends and family and pets and things like that, in terms of materialistic stuff or comfort wise, I think unfortunately I'm going to have to say my phone. My phone has everything on it like social media or my like dates and things that I have coming up it has all my photos that I love it has like it's how I contact my friends and family and to be honest I think I'd just be lost without it that's kind of a boring answer though I feel like everyone's like their phone let me try and think of something else I think pictures not that I couldn't live without it but I would be devastated if I lost all of my pictures or like my memorabilia from growing up I have a whole like bag of everything and also another fun fact I'm going so off topic but my whole bedroom used to just be covered in pictures like you couldn't see the wall you couldn't see the paint on the wall it was all just pictures which was kind of cool kind of darkened up the room and wouldn't have been good for filming i changed my room last year but yeah fun fact my room used to be covered in pictures and i wouldn't be able to live without them necessarily i would i'd just be really upset i hope that answers your question anyway i kind of went off on a tangent on that one and then the next question was from my brother's girlfriend steph hi owen and steph if you are watching this she asked who is your favorite family member and why i'm gonna say my cat <laughs> i love my cat so much she is my life is there any other like crazy pet people out there my cat makes me so happy just seeing her or stroking her or cuddling her just cheers me up she is the best thing that ever happened and i love her and i couldn't couldn't live without her another answer to the other question and she is my favorite family member so i'm not going to choose out of the actual people alana asked what are your favorite movies i 
I'm a complete film nerd. Um, if you didn't know, I did media and like film studies kind of in A level and university as well. Um, and in for my dissertation. But my top favourite films, I have categorised my favourite comedy, my favourite horror, my favourite family film. So, favourite comedy is Bridesmaids, always, I know all the words, watched it countless times. Favourite horror, Jennifer's Body, absolutely love Megan Fox, she is my ultimate girl crush. That film is so funny and postmodern and just perfect. <laughs> my favourite Disney cartoon family film, Lilo and Stitch. That is also hilarious and it has really good Elvis music in it. I feel like I can relate to Lilo quite a lot. So yeah, they're my absolute ultimate favourite films, but I'm also going to insert my list of films that I love in general and that I'd always watch again. And then I'm going to insert films that I want to watch and I've heard really good things about. Oh, and she also asked, what are you, some of your most embarrassing moments? I have quite a lot. I feel like I'm very socially awkward and a lot of embarrassing things happen to me but I've like blocked them out of my head. I don't like thinking about it. I hate the feeling of embarrassment or that people are looking at me. So I've blocked it out of my head, like any really, really embarrassing moments. Something embarrassing that happened last week was me and Ben went to see a show and this woman asked if we had tickets for it and I said, yeah, we do why were you trying to get some? And she worked at the venue, she just wanted to see the tickets. And I was like, can I just crawl up and die please? Like stuff like that happens to me quite a lot. I can't think of anything like ultimate, ultimate embarrassing. I'm sure it has happened, I've just blocked it out of my head. Right, someone called Rebecca also asked, if you could release your own lipstick, what shade would you pick and what name? And what would you name the shade? If I was to release anything, I'd release eyelashes, I think. I'm more of an eyelash person than a lip person. I'm all about the eyes and not the lips. But if I was, hypothetically, to release a lip shade, I would release, like, the ultimate glossy nude. You know where it's, like, just so smooth and shiny, but, like, perfect glossy lipstick in, like, a nude that shoot, shoot, a nude that suits every skin tone. That would be my kind of colour. And I would name it dream because like to be able to do something in my lifetime would be the ultimate dream and like I feel like you should never give up on what you hope for and you should always dream big no matter how silly you may feel it could always happen so I'd want that to inspire other people that's what I would call it and then someone called Samantha asked me if you could only wear one item of makeup every day what would it be that's easy and that would be my eyebrows I look deceased <laughs> if I don't have my eyebrows on so 100% I would not leave the house without my eyebrows being done so my only piece of makeup every day would be brow powder so my brother hi Owen asked would you rather fight 10 duck sized horses or one horse sized duck 100% 10 duck sized horses because horses are huge can you imagine a duck being that big and like they're pretty intimidating horses they're stronger than us why would i want to fight something that has the upper hand on me like little horse ducks that are tiny and just like all they could do is probably get my ankles and that's it so yeah 10 duck sized horses it's a really deep question thanks for that owen and he also asked if you won the lottery what would be the first five things that you brought house car holidays probably like a round trip around the whole of america um clothes and a dog and then someone called laura asked me what is one dream of yours that you'd love to come true maybe realistically i like at the moment my dream is to have a house with ben and i'm working towards it so i'd love it if that came true in the near future or like a slightly bigger dream of mine would maybe to work in the film industry to be like a tv or film producer that would be like the ultimate dream of mine so you never know I'm never going to give up on it. We'll just see what the future holds for us. And then someone asked, what is the scariest thing that's happened to you? I feel like I could do a whole video talking about this, like a chatty story time. But there's been a time where me and Ben have been like followed and I had a panic attack and it really scared me. I'm not sure why they were following me. Luckily we managed to get rid of them and it was just like something out of a film. I think that would be the scariest thing that's happened to me and that was about three years ago. Some other things may be on planes when there's been really bad turbulence and the plane like has fully dropped and I was like oh my god this is it 
I was sat on my own, I was nowhere near my friends, I was just crying silently by the window like, oh my god, this plane's going down. So yeah, that was not a good start to my holiday to New York, but um, we made it, we survived. <laughs> And then a girl called Becca said, I absolutely love quotes, so my question is, what's your favourite quote and what quote do you live by? So I actually have a quote tattooed on my ribs that says, to the moon and back, which is part of a longer poem or saying or whatever, but my nan used to say it to my dad and my dad used to say it to me growing up. I'm not sure of the entire thing, if I can find it I'll insert it, and then it says, I love you to the moon and back. So I got to the moon and back on my ribs. And she also asked, what quote do you live by? I don't know if I live by any quotes per se, not off the top of my head that I can think of. Some quotes that I have saved on my phone, which like particularly took my interest would be, and those who were seen dancing were thought to be insane by those who could not hear the music. And then the other one is, the greatest prison people live in is the fear of what other people think. And I think that's something to just always keep in mind, not to be restricted by other people's opinions. And then someone else left a really lovely message. I'm not sure what her name is, but she's called Bissy N on YouTube. And she asked, what inspires you and what made you join YouTube? I think something that inspires me is people doubting me. People not believing that I can do something fuels me to do it even more and try even harder and just prove them wrong. I kind of use the negative and work harder towards it to turn it into a positive. And what made me join YouTube? If you didn't know, I actually joined YouTube about 10 years ago, but it was a different channel that I had with my friend and we kind of gave up on it in high school when it wasn't seen as cool. And I always regret not carrying it on because you never know where it could have took us. It was back in the day when no one really was doing YouTube. Everyone was just starting out and there wasn't a lot of people on there. Like before YouTube properly took off, we were making videos and I wish I stuck at it. But then what made me join YouTube again this time? I've just always wanted to do it. I think life has just got in the way. YouTube is my TV, like I don't watch TV, I just watch YouTube videos and that's it. And I've always wanted to do it myself, but then I was at school and I had no time, I was at uni and like you always just make little excuses like, oh I don't have a good camera or I don't have the right background or a place to film or I don't think people will watch me, I'm worried what people would think kind of thing. And then I just found like the moment was just right when you're in the right moment I think you just know and there was nothing, there was no more excuses. I kind of just had it in my head that I was going to start doing it and it took a lot of research like there's a lot that goes behind it that you wouldn't actually think. For someone that's never done YouTube before it's quite a lot to process of like channel banners, adverts, descriptions, description of your channel, channel trailers, photos, doing an Instagram that goes with it. It was all just like, I had to research how to put it all together and properly start a channel. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the name of a YouTuber that really helped me out figuring out just how to get my YouTube life together. So if you're interested in starting your own channel, this woman is full of information and really helped me out figuring my journey. And then Nadine asked, what skincare products do you use? I actually have a whole video about my skincare routine, which I will leave linked below if you haven't seen it, but it goes into all the drugstore products that I use, and I only use drugstore products if you are interested. Someone else called Jay Navarro, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, says, do you like to dance? And if yes, what kind of music? No, <laughs> no I don't, because I can't dance. I was born with no rhythm in my body. I can't even clap in time with music. If I was to go out and I had to dance, I'd just be like weighing awkwardly in the corner. And this person also asked, what, perf what is your favorite perfume to use when you're going out and want to feel more sexy? I think my absolute favorite perfume would be the Giorgio Armani for women. I'm gonna insert a photo of it here. Oh, it just smells so like a grown woman on a night out, like a posh night out. Like this woman has her shit together, she knows what she's doing and she's going out and having fun. That's what it smells like. It's a very like dark, sultry evening fragrance and I love it. Someone called Mandy said, I love your top, where did you get it? I leave all of my links to my clothes that have been, like clothes or jewellery that have been featured in the description box. So if you want to find out like where I got this top and where I got the top in the other video or any video that I have put up, I have linked the top in the description box. So just click see more and you will find it. 
but chances are it's gonna be from misguided if you if like if I've forgotten and you really want to know where my top's from it will probably be from misguided somebody else called Lumi D or Lumi D said what is the makeup product you can't live without I've already answered that question below so I'm not gonna repeat it but she also asked what is the first thing you do when you wake up unfortunately I check my phone <laughs> I check any like notifications that I have and just like reply to any messages that may have been left overnight and then I get up and just start my process of getting ready and then I have breakfast and check my like social media like I'll scroll through Instagram and Twitter until I have to leave the house. And that's all of the questions! I really love doing this video, it's actually been so much fun, like, letting you guys know a bit more about me. I haven't really done a video like that since my first ever video, and I don't know if any of you have been here since my first ever video. Claps to you if you have, because it was the most awkward thing ever, and I don't know why I've still left it online. But yeah, so here is like more of an updated getting to know me kind of video so thank you so much for your questions i've had so much fun answering them and now to the point that you've probably all just wanted to skip to and that is the winner of my misguided giveaway and the winner is sammy potter congratulations thank you so much for your lovely comment and thank you for your support i think you said you'd been here since i was on 100 subscribers so wow just thank you i'm going to get in contact with you on instagram later today maybe like within two hours so that you have a chance to like watch this video and maybe be surprised but yeah i'm going to message you on instagram and we can sort out picking what clothes you want and getting it sent over and all of that stuff so thank you so much and thank you to everyone that entered or has subscribed and just been so lovely to me like starting out on youtube it has been amazing so far and i've only just started so yeah thank you again and i will see you next week with another video i look like death i'm raising my head so that you can't see my roots as much in this video <laughs> i need the shoots and then drum roll